Late one night, a woman named Casey was grieving over the recent loss of her husband Chris while sitting on the sofa with her dogs. It's at this moment she starts talking as if he was right there and then something strange happens. Watch closely. Chris, please watch over Boston. Daddy's got you, okay? Now make sure you're okay. I think he'll make sure I'm okay too. <laughs> The interference of the light happened just at the right time, as if it were her husband letting her know that he is still watching over her, and the dogs, even in the afterlife. She also states that her lights have never flickered or done anything like that before, so maybe her husband did visit. Similarly, another woman who recently lost her father is fully convinced that he watches over her and accompanies her at home. Do it again, Dad. Do it again, Dad. Do it again. Flip the light. Flip the light, Dad. Oh my god. Could it be that their lost loved ones are interacting with them and communicating through the lights and electronics around the house? Or is it just a strange, unlikely coincidence that the lights failed at the right time? Let me know what you think. Security guard is working late night when this was captured. Bueno, este, ya son como las 11 de la noche y la, la tercera vez que estoy escuchando este ruido de mierda. Es, no sé qué está pasando, pero lo quiero grabar ahora para que y después me crea la gente, porque esto nunca me pasó y, y nada, lo quería grabar. No sé yo, estoy podrido, la concha de la luz. Como mierda, puede ser que no haya nada. Ay. Ya es la tercera vez. Tercera vez. Tercera vez que entro y no hay nada. Dios. Quiero ir. Quiero ir. Guys, uh, this is just a quick update because I gotta get to work. Uh, but when I got up this morning to get my coffee, uh, I walked into the kitchen and saw this. 
is I guess you guys were right that uh, activity seems to be picking up because I have been you know doing renovations I replaced all this stuff this uh, dishwasher this stove the oven hood there uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen I noticed the cabinet was open and then I noticed this chair uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely Yo tenía días que no se ponía a jugar con esa cosa. Y ahorita que entré otra vez lo vi que está ahí, chinga. Me voy a acercar para que vean de lo que todos dicen que imanes y no sé qué. Estoy prácticamente enfrente de él. Ojalá se va. No hay nadie abajo de la cama, como habían dicho. Ni tampoco hay nadie de aquel lado. Lo sigue jalando. Igual han dicho. Mira, ahí está. He was spending the night at the hospital. He sees this. A woman by the name Myra explains that her husband Jason was spending the night at the hospital. He noticed a strange figure sitting by his bedside. Is she still there? In that chair right there. There was a little girl, like, like I said, no, no, no bigger than Sarah. Black hair. Well, people don't know how big Sarah is. Sarah's about. What's she Sarah's a six-year-old that we babysit. Is she like that? She has black. She has black hair, pigtails. Her eyes are like red, white, and red dress. She's legit sitting doing like this. She's sitting there. She's like, hands, she has her hands on her lap. Sadistic smile just doing this. Jason describes this little girl with black hair and red dress, watching him with a sadistic smile. Many people in hospitals have reported seeing ghostly apparitions others can't see. So could it be that Jason saw the ghost of a girl who lost her life in that hospital? Let me know your thoughts. Look, you guys, it rocks. But then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's flat foot. <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on Blue. Creepy, right? Katie, I guess I do have a ghost bit. Get them blue. I'm shutting the door.
what's happened down here. Um, and I mean, you can't really. stuff right there man. <clears throat> yep, that's what you call. Freaks me out, man. It's gonna be goosebumps. Uh boy, here we go with the door now. So that door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close, stay like that. Oh, there you go. Let go of it. A man was out camping alone in the woods somewhere in Indonesia, attempting to sleep the whole night there. But unfortunately, he is abruptly woken up to some disturbing sounds outside his tent. This is what he caught. Siapa kamu? Hei Siapa kamu? Halo Masih seperti ada yang minta tolong teman-teman kayak nangis. Itu tadi tangan seperti siapa teman-teman? Ya ilah ilah kecil sekali. Sepertinya seperti cakar. Subhanallah. Ya ilah ilah. Ilah, 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 ilah. Apa itu? Tikus ya? Kamu jangan meneror aku ya.
apa ya teman-teman itunya jatuh seperti bunyi itu kesenggol tikus ya jangan-jangan kesenggol tikus ya astagfirullahaladzim kedemen ada yang nangis siapa itu hei After hearing some wailing sounds, he looks around outside the tent and finds nobody there. So he decides to go back to sleep inside. Then a few minutes later, he hears something far worse. Once again he checks the surrounding area and found nobody there. So he retreats back to his tent and things quickly take a horrifying turn. Kok seperti ada sesuatu sih apa ya? Perasaan aku aja apa kali ya? Seperti ada yang aneh loh teman-teman. Eh, stop dulu, ayo cintai saya dulu. Eh, di mana kamu? Stop dulu, ayo cintai saya dulu. Allah, Allah, Allah. Kamu. What looks like a woman can be seen just floating above the tent in the darkness, as if she was hung, but shortly after she fades away into the darkness. When he goes to look around he sees nothing there. Even though he is an experienced camper, he was extremely scared, and mentions that this was one of the most terrifying nights of his life. <laughs> 